بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الخلق أجمعين سيدنا وشفيعنا وحبيبنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه uh, Dear sons, dear students okay, uh, Today in this session uh, we uh, continue our uh, explanation uh, our analysis and dealing with 19th century novels topics and uh, issues or matters uh, today we uh, focus our attention on uh, an important matter. Uh, it is uh, in chapter 5, uh, within that the main topic, Great Expectations. But uh, before going to the novel, uh, Great Expectations, we need to, to know uh, about the, the writer or the novelist, uh, Charles Dickens. Okay, so... Uh, it is important for us to realize uh, understanding uh, the matter or the, the, the issue through asking a question or some questions. Here we have an important question I need you to put in your mind, uh, to prepare, to read, to understand, and also uh, be ready for uh, any sort of exams okay, within this uh, uh, topic. The question here you can uh, realize uh, write uh, a sketch or, ep <coughs> or uh, episode or uh, uh, a report, you can say, a literary uh, report or uh, article. Hmm? Write a sketch summary about Charles Dickens as uh, a novelist. Uh, in our uh, dealing with uh, Dickens, with Charles Dickens, okay, we focus mostly on uh, his work as uh, a novelist. Okay, and his uh, novels, we have, uh, we have uh, read, we have understood that he, he wrote uh, several interesting, uh, uh, glorious uh, novels. Okay, one of them is uh, Great Expectations. We should not forget uh, uh, one of his uh, best uh, novels, uh, A Tale of Two Cities, uh, beside, again, another interesting one, another uh, very uh, significant novel. Anyway, uh, to start, okay, uh, dealing with ideas about uh, Charles Dickens, we can uh, read and uh, analyze uh, some points through our uh, reading. By the year 1850, in England, the so-called novel of realism uh, had conquered. So, we have to uh, underline uh, the meaning of the, the word realism, realism and understanding and try to understand uh, its uh, meaning. By the year 1850 in England, the so-called novel of realism had conquered. So I'd like you to uh, realize and underline uh, the word realism. So uh, it is important for us uh, to deal with the, or to shed light on the concept of uh, novel uh, related to Charles Dickens. Scott, in an earlier, uh, earlier uh, generation, uh, had by his wonderful gift made uh, the rom uh, romance fashionable. But as we said, it was the romance with a difference, the romance with its uh, feet firmly planted on Mother Earth, not uh, ballooning, uh, balloon, ballooning uh, in uh, Cloudland, the romance depicting the men and women of the past, uh, but yet men and women, not creatures existing only in the fancy of the romance maker. Here we have a sort of comparison uh, within the, the concept of realism and what is uh, famous in the 19th century novel, and also you remember in your studies of uh, uh, 19th century poetry, okay, romantic poetry, that the concept was uh, different, okay, in this age, in this uh, century, that uh, it is called the romantic age. Why romantic age? Because the majority of people are refusing uh, reality or realism and fleeing away to uh, ro romantic uh, romance, playing away to nature uh, as a sort of solace, 
okay, from the, the uh, press of reality, from the suffering of reality they are uh, facing, okay, of the difficulties in life that the majority of people, they could not provide themselves good life. So the uh, literary figures in, in poetry and drama and uh, in novel, which was uh, most famous, uh, tried to escape uh, reality, okay, into romance nature, uh, dealing with the matters, issues of uh, nature, like uh, singing, uh, writing uh, topics uh, on uh, nature, dealing with frosts, dealing with uh, rivers, water, lakes, trees, and uh, birds singing, all the atmospheres of uh, such uh, romance or romantic elements. But what we have, about, what we had, and what we uh, shall have on uh, Charles Dickens in this novel, is it uh, on, on, on reality, realism, or in uh, dealing with uh, uh, romance? The, 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 the idea, as we uh, might say from the beginning, yes, it deals with, with the realism. It is connected with reality, especially uh, when we uh, understand uh, the, the journey of the main character, Pip, okay, uh, from his uh, uh, village to, uh, to search, to quest for the, his great expectations, okay, in London, and the sort of life uh, he is facing. So, in short, Scott uh, Romance uh, thought he was help modern uh, realism alone, because he uh, handled his uh, material more truthfully uh, than it had been handled before. And his great contemporary Jane Austen, okay, again, Jane Austen is one, as we studied in the first classes of the uh, novelists of the uh, 19th century, so we should not forget her. With her strict adherence to the persons and to her own locale, through all her influence on the same direction, Okay, justifying uh, Mr. Uh, Hall's uh, assertion that she uh, leads all English novelists okay, in that same truthful handling. Beside that, moreover, that occult uh, but imperative thing, the spirit of the time, was on the side of realism, especially in novel, yes. The occult but imperative being the spirit of the time, the majority of uh, writing novels in this period, especially in the 19th century, as we say, so was on the side of realism. It is somehow different from, from poetry and uh, romantic poetry, particularly, and all been to its addiction, the addiction of realism. Then in the mid century, Dickens and uh, Thackeray, another famous uh, uh, novelist, with George Eliot, again, uh, this uh, very interesting uh, novelist also. A little later on their heels, the uh, Trollope too, all of them came to give a deeper set to the current, uh, to the current which was to flow in similar channels for a uh, reminder of the period. In brief, this is the story, whatever uh, mo uh, modifications of the main current, uh, current are to be noted. The work of uh, Plover and uh, Disraeli, of Reed, Kingsley and Collins. A decade before uh, Thickery uh, got a general uh, hearing, Dickens had fame and mighty influence, became to, uh, started to become famous. Huh? and uh, well known. It was in the 1830s that self-made son of uh, Empicurus, uh, Navy clerk, uh, who did not live in vain since uh, he sat for portrait of uh, Micaba and the father of the uh, Marshal C turned from journalism to that higher reporting which means the fiction of manners and humors. The way the sort of uh, uh, 
uh, writing he uh, started to to deal with uh, fiction of manners and humor he separated for his uh, destiny sympathy he had for the poor the oppressed the physically and morally unfit uh, for he had suffered in his own person reflect reflected uh, his uh, actions his emotions his feelings on what on his writings uh, for the society or in his imagination for them all his gift of observation had been sharpened in the grand school of necessity again look to this uh, uh, very interesting uh, idea the grand school of necessity the society sometimes is a big school not going to school means that a school of attendance and teachers on no the society itself the necessity with with its grim he had learned to write by writing under the pressure of a newspaper a newspapers need or newspaper needs and he had in his uh, blood while still hardly more than a, a, a lad uh, a playing for idiomatic english which uh, so far as it was uh, not a boon straight uh, from haven uh, had been fostered when uh, the very young charles had uh, uh, patterned as we saw upon the 18th century uh, worthies so idiomatic uh, figure that uh, no, no, no one nobody denies the uh, encyclopedic uh, uh, genius mind okay within this novelist Charles Dickens he was a man of great experience great knowledge okay uh, that he uh, contributed greatly to the uh, what we call growth and progress of uh, English uh, novel English literature in general uh, especially the uh, 19th century 19th century particularly uh, the novel here we have uh, more ideas about his uh, personalities now let's get some uh, more ideas uh, Dickens began to write fiction as a very young uh, journalist okay was in, in, in some in some ways in his favor in other ways to determine uh, determined uh, determined of his work it meant in an early start of a career of over 30 years it meant writing under pressure with the spontaneity and reality which uh, usually result okay it also meant the hard uh, grappling with the technique of a great art learning to make novels by making them by making them by, by composing or writing them again one uh, truly inspired uh, to fiction is lucky to have a novelist uh, so uh, uh, a novative okay novative uh, in youth uh, so far the uh, advantages here again more ideas to uh, deal about this personality many ideas can be uh, said about him in a sense all Dickens qualities are to be found in the Pickwick papers one of his greatest uh, works as they have come to be called for a uh, brevity sake but the assertion is misleading if it uh, be taken to mean that in the 15 books of fiction which Dickens uh, was to produce he added nothing failed to grow in his art or to widen and deepen in his uh, hold upon life as it is mentioned here uh, 15 books of fiction it means that he he has written uh, 15 novels 15 books okay as we said our uh, great example is great expectations then a tale of two cities uh, many others we can uh, come across uh, through our our reading here 
So far is this uh, from the truth that one who only knows Charles Dickens in this first great book of fun knows uh, a face of him, not the whole man. More, hardly knows the novelist at all. He was to become and to remain not only a great uh, humorist, but a, a great novelist as well. And Pickwick, Pickwick Papers, is not by definition a novel at all. Hence the next book of following year, Oliver Twist. This one which I, I wanted to tell you about uh, uh, another uh, great work by uh, Charles Dickens, Oliver Twist. Yes, one of the most interesting stories. I advise you to, to read even summaries about it. If you can watch it also, you can watch it as a, uh, as a movie also. Oliver Twist was important as answering the question, was the brilliant new writer to turn out a very novelist, able to invent, handle and lead to tangled uh, representations of social life? Or the, here we have several questions in one. Several questions in one, but they are uh, connected with Oliver Twist that the, 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 the novel Oliver Twist is the answers okay, of these uh, sub-questions. Okay. In the quick following stories, Oliver Twist and the Nicholas uh, Nickelby by uh, uh, by the author passed from episode and comic characterization to what we're in, in some sort novels, the fiction of organism, growth and climax. So again, here is an uh, important point you need to underline and to think about it. We move ahead. Okay, reading the uh, important ideas here and there in, in this chapter. Okay, so as you know, the time is not sufficient to read it all, but uh, the way you have to uh, deal with, I mean, you have free time, you can deal with that uh, sufficiently. By the time he had reached uh, mid-career, then Charles Dickens had made himself a skilled, resourceful storyteller. While his uh, unique qualities of uh, visualization and interpretation had strengthened, this point is worth emphasis since there are those who contended that, that, uh, content that the Pickwick Papers is his most characteristic performance. This is at the beginning, of course. Such a judgment is absurd. It overlooks okay, the great beauty of the picture of uh, Chinsio Wald in Bleak House, the splendid harmony of the uh, Yarmhouth uh, storm in Coberfeld. Again, uh, we should not uh, 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 not not mentioning the, the, this one. Uh, David Coverfield is an amazing story, amazing novel by him, by Dickens, by Charles Dickens. The fine melodrama of the chapter in uh, Charles Witt, uh, where the guilty uh, Jones takes his uh, uh, hagar life, the magnificent port uh, portraiture of the father of the Marshal C in Little Dorrit, again here Little Dorrit is a novel, the spiritual uh, exaltation and vivid uh, stage terms of Carton's death, the exquisite April day uh, blend uh, of uh, tenderness and fun in uh, limiting the young life of Martians, uh, Martians a little uh, Dombey and a tiny Tim to call Dickens a comic writer and stop here is to try to pour a river into a uh, pen pot. Yeah, we should not judge that. Yes. For a sort of uh, equivalent boy like Spirit of Fun, the high jinks of literature, we go to Pickwick for the light and shade of life to Coberfeld, David Coberfeld for the structural uh, excellencies of fiction to later master uh, pieces like The Tale of Two Cities. We mentioned that at the beginning. 
and great expectations. Yes, and the great expectations, by the way, as you know, is our example uh, we need to uh, read, analyze in, in, in this course. Just here, a serious uh, objection of them brought against Dickens. Uh, this is a point of view, a sort of criticism. Uh, just here, a serious uh, objection of them brought against Dickens uh, may be considered his uh, alleged tendency to caricature. Does Dickens make his characters other than what life itself shows, connected with uh, realism? And if so, is he wrong in so doing? Yes, these are what we call uh, contra uh, controversial points. Okay, uh, these uh, questions can be again uh, a set of uh, discussion. You can think about them to deal with this idea or with these ideas on uh, Dickens. Many things can be said about him. We have in the last uh, two uh, pages, I'd like you to read more, read them several times, understand them, improve yourself, try to uh, get more ideas here. Uh, all what we have, I think, is enough and uh, sufficient. Yeah, to uh, remind uh, ourselves with what we have. So now we, we spoke a little about Charles Dickens as a master of the English novel. Okay, and uh, next time we shall uh, deal with the first uh, novel here uh, in, in this course, Great Expectations. Uh, not uh, to uh, forget uh, reminding you with uh, this question, I'll write a sketch a summary about Charles Dickens as a novelist. Expect the questions uh, in the coming week. I hope you too uh, read well, uh, discuss your ideas well with the, uh, your friends, okay, and be ready for the coming uh, class, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, we stop here and wish you all the best. See you in the next class. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.